Today we're going to be learning about Burke and Hare, two notorious criminals from the 19th century. Now Burke and Hare weren't actually Scottish, they were Irish, but they came to Scotland for work and that's where they committed their horrible crimes. When William Burke and William Hare first came to Scotland, they actually worked as navvies, which was a type of labourer helping to build a canal, and lived in Edinburgh. They fell into a life of crime by chance when a lodger in the building where they stayed passed away. They stole the body and filled the coffin with something to weigh it down so people would still think there was a body in it and sold it to an unscrupulous doctor, Dr Knox, at the local medical school for quite a lot of money. Body snatching was a major problem when Burke and Hare were alive. Some people realised that medical schools would pay big money for recently deceased bodies. This strange building I'm standing next to here is called a mort house. Mort is the French word for death. When someone was buried in the cemetery here, the family could spend the first few nights here to make sure body snatchers didn't come and steal their loved ones. I'm crouched here inside this mort house and it's getting close to midnight in this rather creepy abandoned graveyard. But Burke and Hare weren't body snatchers, which some people believe they were. They couldn't actually be bothered to wait that long and they decided it would be much quicker if they simply killed the person and sold them directly to the doctor. Burke and Hare started killing in 1827 and they committed their final murder on Halloween 1828. No one knows exactly how many victims there were, but the most common number that we have found has been 16. So 16 bodies, 16 people that Burke and Hare killed and then sold their bodies for money. In the end, Hare ended up giving evidence against his friend and he got away with it, but Burke wasn't quite so lucky. It's busy here today at St Giles Cathedral, but not as busy it was on January 28, 1829, when William Burke was hanged here in front of 25,000 people. Hare was last seen heading for the English border. He then disappeared from history and nothing is known of what happened to him. A couple of grisly relics still survive today, including a small book made from Burke's skin. Edinburgh University also has a letter written in Burke's blood. A cast or death mask was also made of Burke's head after his execution. In fact, Burke's entire skeleton has been preserved and is in the University's Museum of Anatomy. So, it's time to learn this creepy song about <laughs> Burke and Hare. So this, this song basically just tells the story of what they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So we're going to start with the chorus, it's really easy. Yeah. And then we'll explain the verses to you. Let's go for it, let's learn the chorus. So I'll sing a wee bit, and then you guys are going to copy me, and Kev will sing along with you, and the words will be on the screen to help you as well. Okay, so here we go. Burke and Hare, Burke and Hare, Creep in here, creep in there. Try that wee bit first, ready? Ah! Bark and hear, bark and hear. Creep in here, creep in there. Dirty deeds in the dead of night, hidden away before daylight. Try that wee bit. Dirty deeds in the dead of night, hidden away before daylight. Dirty deeds in the dead of night, hidden away before daylight. Okay, 
Okay. Now we got to verse 1. Mm -hmm. So, here is a story from way back when, because we're going way back to the 19th century here. About two rogues, two very bad men, and they were very bad indeed. <laughs> Not very as nice you learned. at all. <laughs> <laughs> they soon grew tired of Navi's work. So if you remember from the video earlier, mm -hmm. Navi's were labourers and they were working to build the canal. It wasn't for hair and it wasn't for work. They didn't like it very much. They didn't like hard work. No, but it's an easier way to make money. So here we're going to go into the minor key to change the mood of the song. You get the difference there, it kind of goes from a slightly lighter sound in the chorus, this is major, to this darker minor sound, because as Kev says, we're singing about creepy, horrible, not very nice people. So we've got... Here is a story from way back when, about two rogues, two very bad men. Let's try that bit, here is a story. Here is a story from way back when About two rogues, two very bad men They soon grew tired of Navi's work It wasn't for him and it wasn't for work They soon? They soon grew tired of Navi's work It wasn't for him and it wasn't for work And that's verse 1, so let's do verse 1 and then we'll go back and do the chorus again See if you can hear that change from the minor key to the major key because a wee lift when we come to the chorus. Ready? Here is a story from way back when A band two rolls to very bad men They soon grew tired of Navi's work It wasn't for him and it wasn't for her Chorus? Work and hair, work and hair Creeping here, creeping there Dirty deeds in the dead of night Hidden away before daylight and I'm going to go back to the minor For verse 2 A dastardly plan soon was made To snuff out life So this is when they start killing <laughs> people And be highly paid Because they're getting all their money from the evil Dr Knox mm, They quite like that I like the fact that they're getting more money than they did And it was easier work which is pretty horrible when you think about it. And then we mentioned Dr Knox, delivering victims to Dr Knox, 16 bodies before being caught. So we have... A dastardly plan soon was made To snuff out life and be highly paid Try that a bit, a dastardly plan A dastardly plan soon was made To snuff out life and be highly paid Delivering victims to Dr Knox Sixteen bodies before being caught Delivering? Delivering victims to Dr, Dr. Knox Sixteen bodies before being caught And we want to think a wee bit about the performance and about the words as well So when you're singing a dastardly plan soon was made Really emphasise that word And I think in the chorus you can have some creeping Oh yeah, yeah, definitely because they would be creeping about at night with these bodies. It's horrible when you think about it. Okay, let's try that verse and again we'll go back to the chorus. A dastardly, a dastardly plan soon was made to snuff out life and be highly paid. Delivering victims to Dr. Knox, 16 bodies before being caught. Chorus, work and hair, work and hair, creeping here. Creeping there, dirty deeds in the dead of night, hidden away before daylight. And the final verse, back to the minor. It's where they meet their fate, and so different fates, which we talked about earlier. was the only one to pay, because his friend here landed a minute. His friend. So Buck was the only one to pay, here did a deal and was on his way. He got off with it. He did. An awfully long time has passed since then, but still we remember these very bad men, because they're still very famous. Yeah, definitely. There's been books and films made about them. Mm -hmm. Let's go for it, let's learn this verse then. So we have... Bart was the only one to pay, he did a deal and was on his way. Let's try that, Bart was the only one. Bart was the only one to pay. He did a deal and was on his way. An awfully long time has passed since then. Still we remember these very bad. 
with the last chorus but there's not just one chorus Kev there's two two choruses and the second one is a little bit different because the notes are longer at the end they are but it's quite obvious yes and we'll make it obvious if you watch my hands I'll try to help you the second chorus comes in straight after the first one as well so just watch that let's go Mark was the only one Mark was the only one to be he did a deal that was on his way and a long time has passed since then Still we remember these very bad days Work and hear, work and hear Creep and hear, creep and dare Dirty deeds in the dead of night Hidden away before daylight Work and hear, work and hear Creep and hear, creep and dare Dirty deeds in the dead of night Hidden away before daylight. All done. Let's try the song all the way through. Deeds in the dead of night, hidden away. 